beginning of your new life as American citizens. And I'm so grateful um, to the judge, to her staff, uh, to my colleagues, um, to everybody who's helped make this possible, to your family and friends who have supported you and sustained you in what I know is a difficult process of getting through all the different stages of legal immigration to the United States. Congratulations. This is an exciting and an important day for you. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> and as the judge shared with you just a moment ago and bears repeating, in the United States, our most prestigious title is citizen. Because in the United States, when you're a citizen, we are all equal. We are equal before the law. We are equal before judge and jury. The laws apply equally to all of us. This is the foundational idea of America that has drawn so many over so many generations, that the individual rights and liberties promised to you in the Constitution will be also protected and advanced in front of our courts and in our political system. In my view, what distinguishes our nation most from others is that we lead by example and strive to be a society where openness, acceptance, tolerance, inclusion of a wide range of views and backgrounds of opinions, hopes, dreams, and aspirations is also protected by your equality before the law. This is also a title, citizen, that wasn't just given to you, that wasn't earned by birth, that wasn't taken on by accident, but is now today yours through work, through determination, through study, and through testing. And it is my hope that you now realize that with that amazing opportunity of being an American citizen comes also responsibilities. As the judge said, part of that responsibility is to use your voice, to participate, to speak out, and to vote. Our country has been built by immigrants, whether fleeing war or famine or religious persecution or simply coming here seeking new opportunity. It's immigrants who have built this nation. And I've always been moved and inspired by a story from my own childhood. I grew up here in a town called Hocas in Delaware that may be familiar. But where my home church took on and welcomed a refugee family from South Vietnam, fleeing the the difficulties and the dangers of that war, they become literally refugees on the open ocean and were picked up by the United States Navy and ultimately resettled. And because there was a church community here willing to welcome them, this family traumatized by war and by refugee status made amazing progress. Mr. Vien Tran and his wife and their five children are all United States citizens, and my brothers and I grew up with them and they didn't just finish high school, they didn't just finish college, they earned graduate degrees, they became homeowners, business owners, members of our community, and have achieved astonishing success in just one generation as Americans. There are few other places on earth where you can come from another part of the world with a different religion, a different language, a different tradition, choose to become American, and in one generation, achieve opportunities unimaginable in the place from which your family began. So I just wanted to share with you a few quick thoughts here as we welcome you on your citizenship birthday. This has always been a nation that has welcomed and valued immigrants and refugees. And in the Senate of the United States, I have worked tirelessly to continue for that to be the case, to fight for our open armed reception of those who are legal immigrants to our country and those who sought refuge and asylum here in our shores. It is my view that you make our nation stronger, that you bring strengths and skills, abilities, insights, and values from other parts of the world that will enliven, embolden, and strengthen our nation and our republic. And so I say thank you. Remember this day. It may seem to you right now that you couldn't ever forget it. But remember this day, the oath you've taken, the certificate you'll receive, and pass this story down. There's a few with us today who I suspect aren't old enough to remember it, being maybe six months old or a year old or two years old. But tell them the story of their participation, loudly or quietly, in this wonderful ceremony. And make sure that the children and grandchildren that you will have here as American citizens understand just how hard you worked to make this possible. You know, we're not a fixed or static country. 
We're constantly changing. We're not a perfect union. There's things we have to do to improve. And it's my hope that you'll be part of those improvements. You'll be part of raising your voice, of engaging, of voting, and of contributing to our civic discourse in a way that makes us a stronger and better union. Before I close, let me just introduce and thank Ms. Desiree Bird, who works with me. Desiree, why don't you stand um, I've got a number of folks from my office here today, Trinity and Brendan and Brian and Desiree. Um, and one of my greatest joys is working for you. I take very seriously that I work for the citizens of the state of Delaware. That's different from the way things really are in a lot of other countries that I've had the blessing to travel to. Our elected officials in this country are perfectly clear that we work for the citizens of our country. So to the extent there's anything I or my team can do to be helpful with immigration issues, with Medicare or Medicaid or veteran status or Social Security or anything else that relates to representing you and serving you in federal office, it'd be my honor to hear from you. And don't forget that that's a big part of what America is all about, is the transparency and accountability of your elected officials. If we aren't serving you and we aren't doing what you would expect and hope us to do, then speak up and recognize that as citizen, we are all equal before the law and we are all endowed with an equal voice in this amazing nation of ours. I look forward to the comments of Olga Lynn and I'm grateful for the opportunity Judge Stein has given me for just a few moments in this court. And more than anything else, I want to join your friends and family and everyone who's gathered here in saying thank you and congratulations. Welcome, fellow citizens.